peach cartridges. Let's take a look at them. What's going on guys? I just wanted to take this time to welcome you to my channel. I'm a tattooer from Eastern Oregon and this is... How's it going everyone? My name is Ron and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be looking at the peach tattoo cartridge needles from a company called Peach Tattoo, I believe, uh, or Dragon Pestle Tattoos or something like that. So the website is Dragon Pestle Tattoos. The cartridge is Peach Cartridge. So um, start this off with the thank yous. Big thank you to the guys at Peach for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to review these. They sent me four boxes, uh, four influencer boxes. Isn't that funny? I was referred to as an influencer. Um, don't tell anyone. <laughs> and they sent me this really cool poster. Uh, I'll probably put a pop, big pop in of this. It's like a, kind of like a booth cloth type thing. Um, they call it a poster, but it's made out of a fabric. It's got, um, our gal Peach here. Such a little cutie on it. As well as some, uh, promotional material pictures. Cool. So, um... I have, some, I have had some time to use these. I did a little practice piece with them uh, over here on the top left. I did use the mags on an actual tattoo uh, that harnessed some pretty good results. But I'm not going to spoil this right now, so let's just get into it, okay? So just to start off by looking at our box here, they do come nice and sealed. Nice little plastic seal here. Very nice. Um, got our nice cutie up here, peach. All these nice promotional things on the side. Oh, um, also, uh, I'm sorry, I should have said this too as well. Big thanks to the Adam Dark Lord for actually referring this company to me. They hit him up, he told them, hey, I know a guy, uh, and he referred them to me. So, big thank you, Adam. You're the man of men, a uh, hero among heroes. So, go over there and give him a big thanks for me. And yeah, so anyways, peach cartridges, here we go. You know it wouldn't be a Captain Ron video if it wasn't all over the fucking place, so. So, um, yeah, nice, uh, beautiful displayed box. We got our pink and green that just sing, hey, look at me. Now, I've had a chance, let me grab these. I saved these for everything. I saved the back of the blister pack so I can show you guys which ones I practice with. I figured that might help out a little bit, too. So, yeah, um, you get 20 in a box. The R, uh have a rubber silicone membrane around them. So, not a slide out box unfortunately, but uh, a pretty sturdy box, so. So I've used quite a few here. So this is just like the variety pack. Um, right here are our bug pin liners. You get one round shader in there. They're all long taper, unfortunately. Um, long taper mags, hell yeah. Um, long taper liners, I'm just not a big fan of. But, um, needless to say, I used them, so I can give you guys an example. So, each box comes with a slab of bug pin, or these boxes specifically. You can buy them in whatever you want. So, they sent me, um, 20 different, uh, sizes. So, each box has five bug pin liners. There's one round shader in there. Five standard liners. Uh, five um, standard curve mags, a mixture of standard curve mags and regular mags. And yeah, so 20 different configurations. Um, let me put this up right here. Sorry, we're all over the place. So again, what's the point of having structure in the video? So I used the round shader to pack some white in a practice piece. I used the 11 round liner for the outline. Use the three liner for some small detail stuff, small lines, of course. And this is a seven liner, okay. And I use that for smaller ones, probably. Who knows? I can't remember now, but okay. So that's what I used. Also, 15 soft edge for some shading on this piece over here. We'll get to that soon. But so, anyways, let's put these over here. So here is a, our nice liner here. This is a nine round liner standard in the long taper. I do like that it's marked long taper. Um, we do our, have our sterilization dot here. 
which is a good sign to see. This is damage for me being careless. And we'll bust out a mag here too. It doesn't matter. Let's do a bigger one. We'll do a big mag. They do snap off the blister quite nicely. Boom. That's a super clean, crisp snap. We all love to see it. We'll put these away so we can see Peach's uh, chin over here. Okay, so here is our liner. What was it again? Nine liner. Standard liner. They do seal very nicely. A nice tight seal. Which is something I can appreciate. I did notice on some of these. I was having some residue from the back of this pack. Stick on the cushion. Not all of them did. But some of them did. So just something for them to, for you guys at Peach to look out for. I don't know if you can prevent that in any way. But I'm sure certain people that's going to bug them quite a lot. Now they sent me a big... You know list of these promotional cards they said I could use them to in the video um, but I will show I will tell you right now I'll probably put some pop-ins as well they put some time into um, not only like the housing here themselves but they also put some time into like the needles themselves so there's supposed to be like a higher carbon rate in the steel so hopefully I'm getting this right if you're familiar with steel the higher the carbon rate the stronger it is the longer it stays sharp uh, knives, etc. So they're claiming they, they make they made out of very nice steel. Um, the cushion is nice, I suppose. Um, works well. I mean, it doesn't really. Uh, they're very you know grabby to the finger. Um, one thing I did have when I was shading with these is that some of the ink was you know getting on here and uh, making it look kind of nasty. But um, then these cushions being fitted around this little heart shape, they don't slide around. I do have some that slide around and it's quite annoying. So the construction feels nice. Um, membranes are very soft, I would like to say, on the CNC police side of soft. Uh, the membrane here is very fluid and very uh, nice. Um, I want to say it feels like this right here doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of back and forth travel, we could say. But that could just be me. It's been a long time since I reviewed a cartridge, so please forgive me for any mistakes here. Um, a nice see-through tip here. Uh, that way you can keep your eye on your ink levels. Um, I didn't really notice any substantial amounts, uh, differences in as far as like how much ink they held. I believe they said something about this being a little, this tips being a little bit longer than your standard needle. But um, yeah, nice uh, these. We don't do the spinnies. You have a nice... Uh, okay, so here's what we're looking at here, guys. This is our 9-liner. Nice clean polish on these. They did. They seem, they seem to stay fairly sharp. Uh, there's nothing really bad I can say about the performance of these. Uh, the performance of these, but the thing with these is... Um, just the sizes of the liners are really small. Um... So our 11 is comparable to some standard 7s that I've used. Uh, Peak, or not Peak, but Precision, uh, Helios. So they're just really small rounds. So be prepared for that. So when you order a 7, you're probably going to be getting what you're used to being a... Uh, uh, probably a 5 or closer to a 3. So... So, very soft membrane like we talked about. It does have this square positioning system that keeps it from spinning. I don't like to spin, so I can appreciate that. There has been some thought uh, put into these cartridges. I do love the promotional material. There is a center positioning pin in there somewhere. If you guys can see that. Yeah, so it does have all the things that people look for in a cartridge needle. So, they did do their homework. Uh, as far as the liners go, one, th one thing I do wish is that, um, they would have just, they would just run truer to a, what I know a 7 is. So, I'll give you an example up here real quick. There we go. Oh, and I lost the membrane. So, anyway, let's put this to the side here. So, for example, like this big outline here. That's an 11 liner, which is quite, quite small. Uh, very small. That's an 11 liner. Um, 
I believe this right here is a seven. And then we have like some three work up here. But yeah, quite small. So um, the liners, I probably wouldn't use them just because they're, they're just too small. And I also don't like a long taper liner. I prefer a medium taper, standard taper liner. Um, but the mags are a different story. Okay, the mags um, are awesome in my opinion. Uh, these also don't really spill um, ink either way. It just depends on what machine you're going to be using, of course, because uh, your machine is going to usually determine that factor. But, yes. So, um, the mags are awesome. See these nice, uh, this nice whip I got here, nice peppery whip. That's a standard mag. Um, nice dark pepperies. Um, love the mags. I have some footage of me actually using the mag. So, I got the peak out here so we can run one of these. But I'm going to open up another liner. Because I don't want to fiddle fart with the membrane on there, so. Yeah, big shout outs to the Dark Lord for referring these guys to me. He is truly an awesome guy. See, I got a little residue right there. A little residue right there on the membrane. From the uh, adhesive back here on the back of this. So, just something for you guys to watch out for over there, Dragon. Pestle tattoos. So these snap in just fine. Um, no, not loose or anything like that. They're not bouncing around. Um, okay. Let's take it down. I forgot. This is a right-handed machine. Let's take it down at seven. Now you're going to see some, it's favoring one side, um, that is purely this peak machine that does that. It's also known for snapping membranes, I probably shouldn't have grabbed this one, but I just did. At 7 volts, you see it's running true, this pen does run, this machine does run very strong, so. There's 6, let's bring it in, okay, there's 8 volts. That's all the way in. So, nice amount of throw, I suppose. That's about as far as I would want to want to hang it right there. That's probably good hang time right there. Anyways, that's the liner. Let's clean up our mess over here. So yeah, we do get a little residue that hangs on the side of the membrane. I know that I probably wouldn't want that right there on my client's skin. Um, but yeah, just something to look out for. Let's do the mags. Now the liners, um, they're not bad. They're okay. Uh, I just wish that they would run the, a little bit more true to size. Um, they're really small. So, and they're long taper. Uh, I understand long tapers are a little bit easier to use, but I just prefer a medium taper. Here is a soft edge, bug pin, 10 gauge. And also again here we have some residue hanging on the side of the membrane. So the mags I love. Um, very nice mags. I love a long taper mag. Um, a good long taper mag, you know, just a good mag is just something I, I can appreciate. You know, Bishop mags, Black Claw mags, uh, these are very nice mags. Mags are, in my opinion, uh, 10 out of 10. So, uh, soft membrane, um, once again, of course, uh, the, the steel on these look uh, immaculate. Nice and super shiny, super polished, so they did take some time. Uh, to make sure that the uh, the steel on these is t uh, tip top, so um, I do like the narrow sides here on the mag. Here it helps uh, helps you get up against the corners because some of you know some of those uh, lower end mags you have the big chunks on the side here, and it's kind of hard to get up against the edge with that. But so um. Excuse me. So these don't have the positioning, of course, because it's a mag. You're not going to need it. The guides, 
the guys here in the tip are going to run your mag true. So, sorry. There's your snap. Nice, nice quick rebound. It's pretty quick re rebound for being such a soft membrane. So. These ones go in nice, a nice tight lock. Now loose, not too tight, but just like perfect, a perfect lock. So, yeah, I believe these retail at at nineteen ninety nine. Let's turn this down a little bit. This thing thumps. I believe these retail at nineteen ninety nine. These retail at nineteen ninety nine, so they're a good mid tier. Uh, Owie. They're a good like mid-tier mag. Very sharp. Yeah, the mags are excellent. Um, I really like the mags. Liners just run too small for me. Here's a little practice piece I did. I did do I do have some live footage of me using a very really really small mag. I think it's a uh... you guys get a better look at this. I do have some footage of me using a very small mag to do some uh, shading. I think I used this uh, the one size down from this one, so I believe it was yeah. I used a five a five curve mag, and it did great. You know, put it down nice and smooth, um, no problems whatsoever. So yeah, so that's pretty much it today, guys. Um, peach cartridges you can get these at Dragon. PistolTattoos.com. I will put a link in my description and also put a pop in right here, of course. If you guys have any questions about these, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Do my best to answer them. Uh, their website is live right now. I believe they are on vacation. So, to the 18th, I believe. A lot of these, a lot of our Chinese companies are, so... A lot of our bros in China are on vacation right now due to the, the new uh, year holiday festivities over there. So, yeah, packaged nice. Um, they display nice. I love the beautiful color. Um, <clears throat> I, I do like these, like, little promotional things here, you know, where art meets precision. Uh, that's a good one. But my tip from me to you is create 100-plus items. Just cut that out. I mean, put another one of these right here, another picture of Peach here, but... Um, the create hundred items. I mean, just kind of corny, you know. We're uh, we're all grown ups here, so we're not. You're not selling us a box of markers, so just tell us what we're gonna get, what what we can expect. Don't blow, you know, these imaginary, uh, you know, silly things at us. This is kind of silly, but um, yeah, display nice, um, nice, you know, just. Good, good, and good. Um, the liners, I wish they'd just run a little bit bigger. I know I'm repeating myself here. I wish they'd run a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to tell you guys how it is with my experience with them because that's what you guys want to hear. So, uh, mags, two thumbs up. Liners, mid-tier. Uh, mediocre, excuse me, not mid-tier. Mediocre, I just wish they ran bigger, you know. And eleven's like a 7 to what I'm used to, and that's just not going to do it for me. So, anyways, I'm going to clean up my mess. I love you guys. Peace.